Three this morning at the SK Food Group building on Toy Road. Matthew Herchick just spoke with Franklin County Sheriff's Deputy, or Sheriff, excuse me, Franklin County Sheriff Dallas Baldwin minutes ago. And Matthew, what new information did you just learn? Yeah, good morning, Matt. Monica. Well, Sheriff Dallas Baldwin did confirm for me that the victim in this morning shooting has died. He also says that the suspect himself, uh, the suspect as well, was injured off site uh, from this morning shooting. Now we're going to kind of move out of the way so you can uh, get a better view of what has transpired here in the last 30 minutes or so. Now this is the SNK Food Group where the shooting took place earlier this morning, like you guys said, around 530. You can see a number of cars are leaving the building now. The employees who were evacuated have been allowed back into the building. The, the sheriff's office and Franklin County Sheriff Dallas Baldwin has confirmed that the scene is now clear and that there is no further threat to the public. So you can see again, uh, those employees have been allowed back in the building, but uh, many of them appear to have been leaving for the morning. Now, what exactly happened this morning? Well, Franklin County Sheriff Dallas Baldwin tells me that one shooter entered the building this morning again around 530 and shot someone. Uh, we do not know if the shooter was an employee here, but he did say that he believes the victim was an employee of the SNK Food Group. Now, again, the shooter was injured away from the warehouse. Sheriff Baldwin telling me that the shooter appears to have been electrocuted in uh, off site, some type of electrocution near Alum Creek Drive. And we could not report his condition for me. But again, he says the situation is contained and is over. Now, uh, we've shown you guys a couple of different views from this morning just to kind of give you guys a heads up of where we are right now. Just off to my left is the roadway where all of those emergency vehicles were lined up earlier this morning. We pointed out some emergency EMS vehicles and ambulance that was on scene as well. You can now see that all of those emergency response crews have now left the area just a little further down. You can still see one Grove Port cruiser down there still directing traffic. There are still a couple of road closures in this area. But again, Dallas Baldwin confirming for me that the scene is clear. There is no further threat to the employees here. No further threat to the public as well. Again, the uh, suspect is uh, in uh, was injured him, his or herself as well. So uh, we are continuing to learn more as the situation develops, Matt and Monica. But uh, again, the good news for right now is that the scene is clear about one person unfortunately is dead this morning after the shooting and the suspect is injured as well. Matt, Monica. Uh, Matthew, you know, earlier when we were talking to you, there were so many people that were outside. They seem to have been gathering them up, kind of ushering them to another area for a while. Uh, do we know where those folks are now? Yeah, those folks have been allowed uh, again back into the building. Uh, again, it appears that we've seen a number of cars leaving throughout the morning, Monica. But we did have an opportunity to speak with a number of those employees that were standing outside, and they really weren't given much information this morning other than that they were told they needed to evacuate the building. They were not given any information about the shooter, about the uh, victim, or anything like that. So those employees, they have walked down this road. They have now again been allowed back into the building. It appears uh, a number of them are leaving for the day, but those employees again have been told that there is no further threat inside the building, no further threat to them. So again, that area uh, further down the road where they were all standing, that has been clear. And again, they had now been allowed back into the building. All right, thank you very much. Matthew Herchick reporting from Grove. And of course, we will continue to follow updates on this story, bring those to you on air, also online at NBC4i.com. Good time to have the NBC4 News app where you can receive breaking news alerts. And now